Hello, this is my 50 subscriber special. So I'm going to talk about me and how I learned how to program and where I am now. I was born on March 14th, 2000, and I loved video games, like most kids in my generation. I always wondered how games were made. Around 2008, I got Little Big Planet. Like, I liked using the node-based system to make my very own levels and games, and I knew I was destined to make my own. So I used my parents' computer to do research on the subject. This is when I learned about a simple program called RPG Maker. I, w I wanted to install it, but my parents didn't want me to install anything on their computer over the fear of getting a virus. So I read all I could about it. Around 2009, my father bought and built me my very own computer. So as soon as I could, I downloaded RPG Maker and got to work. RPG Maker was neat, but very limiting. And easy. So with the limited knowledge I had, I downloaded an odd 3D game engine called Rad 3D. And with it, I made one game. It's a racing game. It used a lot of the default assets that came with it, but I was fine with that. It was originally for my father, as he loves racing games. Plus, the engine suited him, as his pseudo is Radtickle. But I then wanted to make it a full game called The Unrenderers or the Unrenderers, as I wrote it back then. You had to race against some cars without textures on them. That, as they raced around the track, would remove a part of the texture on that part of the track, basically unrendering it. I don't have that version, but I don't have a much older version. It's basically the same thing, but without the particle effect. This game was finished around 2010. After that, I decided to step it up a bit. Red 3D was too easy and simple. So, I got Blender. Now, I was using it to learn about 3D animation at the time, but when I learned I could make games with it, I was flabbergasted. I dove headfirst into the next pool of information and started making some basic 3D games. But sadly, I can only find one game, and I think it's the first one I made with it. It's called Evade, and the goal of the game is to, well, evade walls and make it to the end of the level. It's really small and only has like one level, and nothing even happens if you beat it. I made this around 2010. Near the middle of my adventures in Blender, I gave the information I got with it, using Blender, and shared it with my friend Jean Bon. After that, almost every week we would share our games with each other. They would mostly be multiplayer so that we could play them together. It was the most fun and productive I have ever felt in my life. Now, it's been a while, and I think that Blender is a bit too easy, and it didn't give me enough options, so it was time to move on. I went to the next step to victory and got the Unity 3D game engine. Like Blender, I could only find one game, Voxel Crusher, a 3D shooter game set in a voxel-like map. There were different game modes, online multiplayer, and a map creator, allowing you to place blocks Minecraft style. The multiplayer worked great, and you didn't even need the same map as the other players. The game would auto-download and load the map of the server you were joining. It was the most fun I had playing one of my own games, since it was multiplayer. I had a blast to make it, and a blast to play it. It was finished around 2011. 
I started another game that I abandoned quite early called Shadow Man. A first person exploration game where you had to avoid the light so you would have to walk along the shadows. The game only had one unfinished map with a few swinging lights you had to avoid. The coolest part though was when you went outside and you had to walk while a crane would move and create a dynamic shadow you'd need to follow. I can't remember the other games I made in Unity but uh, they were uh, pretty small and probably incomplete. It was at this time where I found that Unity was really easy. Too easy. Cheap even. This is when I took the first real big step. I abandoned pre-made game engines and went straight to the real code. And learned Java. The first game I made in Java was Rave Snake. It started out as me following a tutorial on how to recreate a uh, snake um, in Java. But after I finished it, I wanted to try to explore and do my own things. And thus created a boss battling system. So it's normal snake, but with freaking moving bosses. The game was horribly programmed and had like over a hundred thousand lines of code being executed for no reason. Um, and the game needs to run at 40 frames per second or it doesn't work at all. So it wasn't the best programmed game but it was the first time I was doing something from the ground up almost. So yeah, I finished it in 2012. Um, after this, I made my own basic 2D game engine. The, en the engine had input, audio, and my own axis aligned bounding box collision system. The first thing I made with it was Bully Game. So at school they were talking about bullies that year, and so I was inspired to make a game about bullies, thus Bully Game. <laughs> the point of the game was to manage your confidence, rage, and sadness, all the while trying to get good grades and pass the year. The bully encounters were RPG-like. I would have liked to add more to this project, but I gave up on it since the code got a little complicated. The reason I even got so far in the first place was because of my good friends Jambo and Katsuro. They helped with the art. I drew the main guy, Katsuro drew the GY, and Jean Bon drew the rest, so big thanks to him. This game was terminated in 2013. The first thing I did after terminating this project was to see what I could have done better in my code. Since this was only the second time I was doing real programming, I wasn't too sure of what I was doing. I was painting a wall with a thin paintbrush, not knowing I could use a roller. So I decided to watch some tutorials on how to make an engine. And in the same time, I learned how to do 3D. I did this by watching a whole lot of Thin Matrix and Benny. This is when I pretty much followed line by line and recreated Wolfenstein with Benny and messed around with some 3D concepts with Thin Matrix. I managed to get pretty far, but performance was awful. I tried to make a 3D version of Whizball, and only got so far before giving up. I did manage to add some basic physics and even multiplayer, but it wasn't very good. I got to a point where I was adding JBullet, but it didn't take a lot before it slowed down to a crawl. After this, I messed around in 2D, but I don't have all the little projects I started anymore. 
I made it pretty far, and I wasn't ready to stop. Java became baby food, I can't believe how easy it was, in 2D at least. It was time to take out the big guns and go directly to the source, with C++. I started simple, with some 2D tests I made using SDL and OpenGL. After, I made a basic 2D game engine that was inspired by the Thin Matrix and Benny's engines. It could handle 2D rendering, frame buffering, sprite animation, open AL audio, box 2D physics, and more. And with it, I made, well, nothing. I started a few projects, but didn't finish any of them. They were more of tech demos than anything else. I knew more and more of what I was doing, and I wanted to advance faster, get to the real stuff. I was already busy working on a 3D game engine. This time, I wasn't slowed down by Java. I was slowed down by my skills as a programmer. Since I was using C++, yes it was faster, but now I got to work twice as hard making sure everything is where it needs to be when it needs to be there. I made things like rendering demos and adding bullet physics. I even followed Benny for the fifth time and tried to add my variants to the engine, trying to get the hang of things. Christmas was coming and I felt like making a game. A simple game that everyone can enjoy and get a challenge out of. So I made a renter game. The goal is to get from point A to point B. You can run up, down, left, and right. Ice breaks and turns into water. To break cobble, you need a pickaxe. Cobble turns into ice afterwards. Snow needs a shovel, and like ice turns into water. Mm, that's about it. You can make your own levels and paint if you wanted to. Oh, and when you win, you get a satisfying cheer. Also, I may have stolen the textures from Minecraft. At a certain point, I had a project in PPO, a class focused on what we want to do later. As an end of year project, we had to do something that had to do with what we wanted to do later. But we had to learn one new thing about it as well. Obviously, I decided to make a video game. I learned way in advance that we were doing this for the end of the year, so I started early and made an engine in Java. That new thing I wanted to learn was to collaborate with strangers. So I asked the four most popular students in my class if they wanted to help me voice the characters. And they said yes. The game was four players and it had to do with collaborative efforts to solve puzzles. Um, the four players were themselves, and they all had one special thing they could do that was inspired by what they wanted to do uh, later. Miriam wanted to be a nurse so she can heal other players. Carl wanted to be a trainer, so he can train the other players to run faster and jump higher. Alec wanted to be an electromechanic, so he can hack electric boxes to switch switches. And Iana didn't know what she wanted to do, but she always wore a huge iconic scarf in school, so she can glide with it. Um... After we made our thing, we had to presentate it. During the presentation, the four voice actors played as themselves. It was really fun, probably the best experience I had to date. It made me so happy to see not only the players having fun, but the whole class cheering them on. <laughs> it was really funny. It's my best looking game so far but that might have to do with the stolen textures. 
I didn't make the ground, dirt, and cloud textures. Everything else was me. I finished it in 2015. I was getting pretty good at making games now, more than before anyways, and Halloween was coming, yeah the one that just passed. I wanted to make a Halloween pony game in C++, I didn't get too far, but I made some really cool animations that have the same style as my PPO game. The cards were drawn by Ketsuro, they looked wicked, so thanks Ketsuro. That's Thank you, you're good at making cards. I made a simple movement system, a card and deck system. Tried to add multiplayer, but C++ made that a little trickier than Unity. And a conversation system. with a stolen sound effect from a video on Pinkie Pie and Undertale. Sorry about all that stolen stuff. So, it was supposed to be a battle card game with a Halloween and Pony vibe to it. And time passed too fast, so I gave up on it. But uh, me and Katsuro have a plan for next year. Thank you for watching my video on my little programming life story. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like the video, and if you haven't seen it already, check out my other videos. Also, if you want to become a programmer yourself, I'd suggest to watch Thin Matrix and Benny, as they are awesome and you should definitely check them out and support them, and they're great, and I love you guys, and thank you. Goodbye.